we can discuss this problem from add code beginner contest 167 in this video we can discuss the first three questions and then the subsequent videos will consist all the other three questions because i think the last three questions should be stand alone and not be included in this video okay so the first three questions are a little bit easy the first question is states that Taka takashi wants to be a member of some web service he tried to register himself with this id s which turned out to be already in use by another user okay so he decided to register another string obtained by appending one character at the end so now he is trying to register with this id t determine whether it satisfies our property or not so thing is you are given two strings and the last character is only changed so you want to like find out whether both if we if we remove the last character whether the both of the strings are same or not so this question is very simple what you can do is you can take two strings input both of them then from the t1 pop the last element pop back and after popping back if s become equal to t you print out yes that yeah it satisfy the condition else no that's it so you can run this you can move to the second code second problem statement states that we have a cards each of which has an integer yes okay let's submit this we have a cards each of which has an integer 1 written on it similarly we have b cards which has zero written on it and c cards which have minus 1 written on it so you have to pick out k among these cards what is the maximum possible sum of the numbers written on the cards so it is also very simple that you have only these three type of cards and the quantity is so you have the, the cards which written have written 1 on it are 2 a uh, cards which have written 0 on it are 1 a card which have written minus 1 on it is 1 and you have to choose three cards so always if you want to maximize the sum readily choose the one which has the maximum sum so just choose two cards from here one card from here and the sum will be 2 because only this will add up this card has a sum of 0 so the total will be 0 uh, sorry 2 so that's the main logic just readily pick up the uh, numbers okay so what we'll do is uh we'll take input of a b c and k a b c and k and then what we'll do is we will check if a so like like if the number of cards of a is greater than Or equal to k. So if like we want to take out uh, three cards and we have ten cards of type A, so it's better to just take out three cards from that deck and just return out. So the total to store on the answer. Is zero, and then if it's okay, what will you do? You just take. Total plus equal to like these many cards. K cards will take your output total, and you just return out. Else, what you'll do? Because like you required K cards, which means you required ten cards, and A have you have only four cards of type A. So what you'll do? You'll take all the four cards. and you subtract them from a k because now you required less card now okay now you move on then you will choose cards from b so you just have to do the same i'll copy it so what you will do is if b is greater than equal to k now 
because b doesn't have any value so it will not add anything to our final answer but if still we want more cards what we'll have to do is because again total doesn't add anything to our value but k should be subtracted by b and once again we have to do this so if c is more than k now we'll add minus k because we have now we have taken the cards which has the number minus 1 written on it so total should be subtracted minus k and the total will finally become this and yeah so i don't think so this will require Let's run this. This is a good question. The question statement states that Takashi, Takashi. Uh, let's come in the first one. Two. Also, yeah, this one is accepted as you can see. This one is running. We'll move to the last question. Takashi, who was a novice. in competitive programming wants to learn m algorithms okay initially his understanding level of each of the m algorithms is zero okay now takahashi is visiting a bookstore where he finds n books of an algorithm the ith book is sold for this cost okay like for the cin and if he buys that book then what will happen is he will gain knowledge about algorithms and he will gain understanding of the jet algorithm will increase by aij so if there is no way to increase the understanding of the algorithm you have to return zero but takashi objective is to make his understanding level of the m algorithms x or higher so if there are like there are for example 10 algorithms so he wants to buy books such that his uh, knowledge for each algorithm should be at least x or become more than x and you have to find out whether it can be achieved by buying some books and if yes what's the minimum amount the trick in this question is the size of nnm it is very small and as you can see uh, we have al always one option to whether choose a book or not choose a book so if you want to choose a book then okay so there are if like there are three books we can choose it or not so we have two options two options two options so total possibilities are eight cases now if we have to the max 12 cases for 12 books it is around 4096 this are very small number so what you can do is you can iterate over every possibility and check for for every condition like there are one two three books you can either book buy one book One two book, one three book, two three book, and so on. And what is the cost for buying that book? And if we buy those book, whether our level meet our falling condition or not? Because our falling condition is okay. This is also accepted. Our falling condition is if we bought those book, our understanding level should be x or higher. If we buy all the books and still our understanding is not. more than x have to return minus 1 okay so now for finding all the subsets we will iterate over 2 to the power of m or because there are n books to the power m so 1 to 2 to the power n will iterate over all the subsets because total of subsets is 2 to the power n and what we'll do is we'll write it in binary form i hope you understand or know this concept so to Find out all the subsets. Uh, so, like, for example, there are four books. In the binary presentation of one, it is written like this, which means we just have to take the first book. If we have four books, we can just take the first book. If we make this binary presentation to two, so we'll iterate over all the numbers from one to two n. So, if there are four books, we'll iterate from two to two to the power four, which is sixteen. so the first number will be 1 then the number will be 2 then the number will be 3 and so on and as you can see in the first case we just take the first book in the second case we just take the second book in the third case we just take the first and the second book and 
fourth case you will take only the third group fifth case you will take first and the third book and so on and for each of these books now you just have to find the total money required for buying these books and how many our level increase if we study all only these books and whether after studying this book our level will increase to x or not if it increase we'll find out the global minimum value and that's our final answer so let's quote it and see how the input is taken first we'll take the input of the book and then all the uh, algorithms you will study and the total number of books is n and there are total m algorithms you want to study and after reading this book this is the total uh, level will increase for each algorithm because it's 1 to m okay. so let's write the code and it will be more clear to you So what we'll start with is we'll make the input of uh, n, m, and x, and m, and x, and then we'll also have to find out. Our global maximum or minimum value for so for finding out the minimum value, we'll initialize it a very with a very large number, 118, 10 to the power 18, and make it long long. Then what you'll do is you'll make a vector to store all the books. The, the number of rows is n and the number is number of columns should be m plus 1 because the first column is used to store the cost then what you'll do is you'll iterate over the input i plus plus for j equal to 0 and j less than equal to m and for book of We'll take the input of C N of book of I J. Yeah. So that's how we take the input, and then what we'll do is we'll move from I equal to one to two to the power n, which we can easily write like this. Left left shift it left shift it by n places, and now for each number. We'll find out the total cost it takes to buy all the books, which is zero initialized. And we'll also make a vector to store what's the uh, value or how much we have learned by buying this book for the ML got. Okay, so now we'll iterate over our books, which is from j equal to zero to j equal to n books and whether we want to check whether this is in R so as you can see now we have make a uh, for loop from 1 to 2 to power n and for each number we will check whether this bit is set or not if this bit is set then only we will buy this book so for checking the bit is set or not we will do an AND operation with left shift it by j positions and then if this book is or like if this bit is set we'll add this to our total value the cost and the cost is at the first cell so j0 and then we'll add this book value to our total val which stores all our knowledge how much we have learned so we'll iterate over k equal to 0 k is less than m k plus plus for all the algorithms in that book val of k plus equal to book of j k plus 1 because our value of our knowledge is stored from k plus 1 uh, because the first index is for the cost and then what we'll do is after finding out this we'll check whether 
uh, after buying all this book we have gained the knowledge we want of more than x so we'll make our flag equal to goal flag equal to 0 so now we want to check we'll make a flag bool equal to 0 and then what we'll do is we'll iterate over all the books we have bought knowledge we have gained from all the books we have bought and whether if well of j is uh, less than x in any case then we make our flag equal to 0 like that this configuration is not acceptable or not we don't want to buy this configuration and you break ok so if flag is equal to 1 only which means like this configuration is good then only we'll buy this but we'll find the cost is minimum of the cost the global cost and the total for this configuration and then we'll come out of the whole loop and then if the final cost is still equal to 1e18 it means like no other configuration is better for us or can leach our knowledge to x or more then we'll return minus 1 else what will we do we will return the cost that's it let's run this code first and run this for Answer is 120. Okay, let's run this for code 1067. Okay, there's some problem. Uh, I think so. The cost is good. We'll add everything. Yeah, so actually. We have put it here. Model is actually it should be answer. Yeah, now it's given the right answer. So we just have to submit this. Okay, let's submit this. I hope you understand all the three questions. If you still have any doubts, please mention now. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I see you next time. Bye.